When I was seven, most of my friends stopped believing in magic. That's when I first started. They were beautiful. They were happy. They didn't even need any money. They had magic cards. How are you, Mr. Jerry? Great, Manny. That's good. good. I heard you say once that you make movies not for critics like me or for viewers, but for yourself. That's right. Now, what caught your fancy with Confessions of a Shopaholic? It's the character. The character is so zany and so much fun. You, you just, you, you got to love her. I mean, she does these outrageous things and you keep saying to yourself, you can't do that. Please don't do that. Yet she does it and you still love her. I mean, it's one of those characters that, you know, will go down in film history as being, you know, first of all, Isla playing it. She's our Lucille Ball and she's just fantastic. So, it's, I love movies that you know, take you places, show you things. I love fashion. Uh, girls are going to love it for the fashion. Guys will love it because they're pretty girls in it right. and it's funny. So I think, you know, it, it's, it's a great date movie because you're going to take a girl, she's going to love it, and which means she's going to like you even more when she walks out. Rebecca. <laughs> Did you just type good angles on APRs into Google? Yes. I Googled. From pirates to shopaholic. I mean, are, are we seeing the softening of Mr. Jerry Bruckheimer here? No, we'll hit you with a hard-hitting thing soon. <laughs> oh, uh, really? We have a bunch of stuff. We, we, the next movie we have coming is called G-Force, which is kind of a kids' adult movie, which is really soft, but it, uh, it's wonderful. It's just Special Forces guinea pigs. Then we have Prince of Persia coming out in 010, which is a big action-adventure right. film. So we're just mixing it all up. Oh, yeah. We just want to give you good entertainment. That's what it's all about. <gasps> Gucci boots! Look! There's a Taylor Burberry! <gasps> Miss Sophie Kinsella yes. has the blessing of the movie and everything. Oh yeah, she's been with us the whole journey. She's been on the set, she's did some writing for us, and she's actually here promoting the movie, so I, she still loves it, so that's good. Some of the diehard fans will ask why change the setting? Well, New York is such an international city, and, and we felt it was, it, since the character does go to New York in the, in the second book, we just moved it up a little bit. So you mix both the first and the second exactly. book? Exactly. And why was that? Because we wanted to get some of the great stuff from the second book into the, into the film because it's sort of zany, fun stuff. You also said you're in the business of transportation. Right. You love to transport viewers from one point to the other. What do you want them, how do you want to transport them with Confessions of a Shop? Well, well, for young women, you know, getting in the world of fashion. And, and it's, it's about a girl who, who's into one career that she doesn't like and wants to get into another career and how she does that and how she satisfies her needs and you know it's an empowerment story for young girls and, and a know, journey for young girls. It's a comedy but it's also some, some underlying tone, dramatic tone to it. Absolutely, look at the world, the mess we're in financially and just like our character and she figures out how to get out of it. Confession time, bad shopping habits? Absolutely, I love clothes and cars and gadgets and cameras so I get in trouble myself. But you don't have 12 credit cards though? No I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. They won't give me 12. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Confessions of a Shopaholic. I remember from your resume that you speak Finnish. There's someone very excited to meet you. Yanni. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Onpa hauska Siitä lähtien, kun mä Amerikassa. Men like you are the reason I left Finland. Hello?